Magandang araw para sa video presentation na ito, pag-usapan natin ang simplifying expressions with rational exponents. Ito ay grade 9 lesson ng junior high school para sa quarter 2, week 5. Huwag kalimutang ilike ang video at mag-subscribe. Ito ang Husay Sipnayan. Simulan natin ang discussion. For expressions containing rational exponents, a raised to m over n, kung saan ang a ay any real number at ang m at n ay non-zero integers. The laws of exponents is still hold. Now na nasa video ito, tinalakay natin ang laws of exponents. Kung hindi mo pa ito napanood, ang link ay nasa description ng video ito. Halimbawa na lamang ang product of powers, meron tayong 2 raised to 1 half times 2 raised to 1 half. Mapapansin, meron tayong dalawang exponential expression, pareho ang base, 2, at ang mga exponents ay fraction. I-apply natin ang product of powers, kukopyahin natin ang base, at i-add ang exponents, 1 half plus 1 half. At ang 1 half plus 1 half ay equal sa 1, meron tayong 2 raised to 1. At ang final answer ay 2. Any number raised to 1 is equal to that number, 2. Ibig sabihin nito, ang square ng 2 raised to 1 half ay 2. O kaya naman, ang 2 raised to 1 half ay ang principal square root ng 2. For any integer m not equal to 0 and n not equal to 0, and any real number a, meron tayong a raised to m over n is equal to the nth root of a raised to m. Or equivalently, pwede rin natin itong i-express as quantity nth root of a close quantity raised to m. If n is an even positive integer greater than 1, at ang a ay greater than or equal to 0. Magsagot tayo ng mga halimbawa. Example number 1. Express the following in radical form and simplify. Letter A, 81 raised to 1 half. Letter B, 256 raised to 3 fourths. And letter C, Quantity 25 over 169, close quantity, raised to 1 half. Narito ang ating suggested solution. Simulan natin sa letter A. Sa letter A, meron tayong 81 raised to 1 half. Kung i-express natin ito sa radical form, ito ay square root ng 81. At alam natin, ang square root ng 81 ay equal sa 9. Punta naman tayo sa letter B. 256 raised to 3 fourths. Kung susundan natin ang pattern sa naunang slide, meron tayong 4th root of 256 raised to 3. At ayon din sa mga naunang slide, ito ay equivalent din sa 4th root ng 256 raised to the third power. Alam natin na ang 256 ay equal sa 4 raised to the 4th power. At ang 4th root ng 4 raised to the 4th power ay equal sa 4, kaya meron tayong 4 raised to the 3rd power. At ang ating final answer ay 64. 4 raised to the 3rd power is equal to 64. Sa letter C, meron tayong quantity 25 over 169 raised to 1 half. Sa radical form, ito ay square root ng 25 over 169. Sa rule of radicals, ito ay magiging square root of 25 over square root of 169. Ang square root ng 25 ay 5 at ang square root ng 169 
ay 13. Kunin lamang natin ang principal root ng numerator at denominator. Ang ating final answer, 5 over 13. Punta tayo sa pangalawang set ng examples. Example number 2. Express the following in radical form and simplify. Letter A, 27 raised to the negative 2 thirds. Letter B, negative of 125 raised to 2 thirds. At letter C, quantity 16 over 81, close quantity raised to the negative 3 fourths. Para sa ating suggested solution, simulan natin sa letter A. Meron tayong 27 raised to the negative 2 thirds. Kung i-express natin ito sa radical form, ito ay magiging cube root of 27 raised to negative 2. Ayon din sa mga naunang slides, ito ay quantity cube root of 27 close quantity raised to negative 2. Alam natin, ang 27 ay equal sa 3 cube, kaya meron tayong cube root of 3 cube, close quantity, raised to negative 2. Ang cube root of 3 cube ay equal sa 3, kaya meron na lamang tayong 3 raised to negative 2. At mula naman sa rule of negative exponents, ito ay 1 third squared Ang final answer natin, 1 over 9. 1 third times 1 third is 1 over 9. Punta tayo sa letter B. Negative of 125 raised to 2 thirds. Sa radical form, ito ay negative of the cube root of 125 squared. I-rewrite natin, magiging negative of quantity cube root of 125 raised to the second power. Alam natin na 125 ay 5 cube, kaya meron tayong negative of cube root of 5 cube, close quantity squared. Ang cube root of 5 cube ay equal sa 5, kaya meron tayong negative of 5 squared, ang ating final answer, negative 25. Sa letter C, meron tayong quantity 16 over 81 raised to negative 3 fourths. Sa radical form, ito ay magiging fourth root ng 16 over 81 open close parenthesis raised to negative 3. Maaari natin itong i write as quantity 4th root of 16 over 81 close quantity raised to negative 3. Sa rule of radicals, sa loob ng parenthesis, pwede natin itong isulat as 4th root of 16 over 4th root of 81 at ito ay nakaraise sa exponent negative 3. Alam natin, ang 4th root of 16 ay 2 dahil ang 2 raised to 4 ay equal sa 16. Ganun din, ang 4th root of 81 ay equal sa 3 dahil ang 3 raised to the 4th power ay 81. Kaya meron na lamang tayong 2 over 3 sa loob ng parenthesis raised to negative 3. Kung i-express natin ito with positive exponent, Kukunin natin ang reciprocal ng base, magkakaroon tayo ng 3 halves raised to the third power. Power of a quotient, meron tayong 3 cubes sa numerator at 2 cubes sa denominator. Ang ating final answer, 3 cubed is 27, 2 cubed is 8, 27 over 8. Pumunta tayo sa pangatlong set ng examples. Simplify the following using properties of exponents. Assume that all variables represent positive real numbers. Express your answers without using negative exponents. Letter A, A raised to one-third times A raised to three-fifths. 
Letter B, quantity S raised to 1 half, close quantity raised to 3 tenths. And letter C, T raised to 2 thirds over T raised to 1 fourth. Narito ang ating suggested solution. Simulan natin sa letter A. Meron tayong A raised to 1 third times A raised to 3 fifths. I-apply natin ang product of powers. Mangyayari, copy the base, and then add the exponents. 1 third plus 3 fifths. Kunin natin ang LCD ng denominator sa exponent. LCD is 15 divided by 3 times 1, meron tayong 5, plus 15 divided by 5 is 3, times 3, meron tayong 9. Ang ating final answer, A raised to 14 over 15. Punta naman tayo sa letter B. Meron tayong quantity S raised to 1 half, close quantity raised to 3 tenths. Dito gagamitin natin ang power of a power. Meron tayong S raised to 1 half times 3 over 10. Simplify natin ito. Meron tayong S raised to 1 times 3 is 3, 2 times 10 is 20, 3 over 20. Ang ating final answer, S raised to 3 over 20. Letter C, meron tayong T raised to 2 thirds over T raised to 1 fourth. Ito ay quotient ng dalawang exponential expression. I-apply natin ang quotient of powers. Meron tayong base na t at ang gagawin natin isusubtract natin ang exponents 2 thirds minus 1 fourth copy natin ang base at kunin natin ang LCD ng mga fractions sa exponents 3 and 4 ang ating LCD ay 12 12 divided by 3 is 4 times 2 meron tayong a minus 12 divided by 4 is 3 times 1 Meron tayong 8 minus 3 sa numerator ng exponent. Kaya ang final answer, t raised to 5 over 12. Tumungo tayo sa ikaapat na set ng ating examples. Again, simplify the following using properties of exponents. Assume that all variables represent positive real numbers. Express your answers without using negative exponents. Para sa letter A, meron tayong quantity A raised to 1 half over B raised to 2 thirds, close quantity raised to the 6th power. At sa letter B, meron tayong 5 raised to negative 3 fifths over 5 raised to 2 fifths. Para sa ating suggested solution, unahin natin ang letter A. Meron tayong A raised to 1 half over b raised to 2 thirds raised to the 6th power. Sa loob ng parenthesis, meron tayong dalawang exponential expression. Subalit, magkaiba ang base. Sa numerator, ang base ay a. Sa denominator, ang base ay b. Hindi natin maia-apply ang quotient of powers. Kaya ang gagawin natin, i-apply na lamang natin sa buong expression ang power of a quotient. Mangyayari, meron tayong a raised to 1 half raised to 6 sa numerator at b raised to 2 thirds raised to 6 sa denominator. Kokopyahin natin ang base sa numerator at sa denominator at imumultiply natin ang exponents. Meron tayong a raised to 1 half times 6 over b raised to 2 thirds times 6. 1 half times 6 is 3, kaya sa numerator, meron tayong a cube. 2 thirds times 6 is equal to 4. 6 times 2 is 12, divided by 3 is 4. Sa denominator, meron tayong b raised to the 4th power. At ito ang ating final answer, 
a cube over b to the fourth power. Punta tayo sa letter b. 5 raised to negative 3 fifths over 5 raised to 2 fifths. I-apply natin ang quotient of powers. Kopyahin natin ang base, that is 5. At isubtract natin ang exponents. Negative 3 fifths minus 2 fifths. Ang negative 3 fifths minus 2 fifths ay equal sa negative 1. Meron tayong 5 raised to negative 1. At dahil hindi natin maaaring express ang ating answer ng may negative exponent, ang ating final answer ay 1 over 5 raised to 1 or 1 over 5. Maraming salamat sa panonood. Huwag kalimutang ilike ang video at mag-subscribe. Ito ang Husay Sipnayan.